Completely Different, Just the Same, by Lisa Combs and illustrated by Pam Frazier. Take a look around at all the people that you see. It's likely you will see someone as different as can be. Their eyes might be a different shape, or they have a different nose. Perhaps their hair is purple, or they have polish on their toes. They might run fast. They could walk slow or cruise in a chair with wheels. They might play unfamiliar games or eat unfamiliar meals. They may come from another land. They may be big or small. Some might speak with different words or not even speak at all. They might go to a different church or learn at a different school and clothes you think are ugly or clothes you think are cool. One is good at singing while another's good at sports. Some of them are taller, some of them are short. The world would not be interesting if we all looked just the same. Recess would be boring if we all played just one game. Some of us can dunk a ball or win a race of any length. Some can lift a hundred pounds while someone else has little strength. Some friends might be writers as talented as Poe. One may sing with a voice that soars. One may be the next Van Gogh. We all have different talents, different interests, different dreams. Our differences are endless, or at least that's how it seems. But what do you think would happen if we got very far away? How far would you have to go before our differences would fade? How different would two people look from just across the hall or from across the classroom or the field where you play ball? Try looking down upon your friends from the tip top of a slide, or better yet, look way down from a roller coaster ride. It's hard to tell your friends apart from such a distant place. It would be even that much harder looking down from up in space. From very, very far away, you cannot see their eyes, and just the same from far away, you cannot tell their size. From far away, you cannot see how old they are in years. From far away, you cannot tell whether they're laughing or in tears. And just the same, it's hard to tell how different we may be when we're looking very closely and we see what we can see. For instance, if we scrape our knee, we all have blood that's red. We all have to breathe oxygen. We all have brains inside our heads. We all have hearts that pump our blood very fast or very slow. We all have cells that replicate and make our bodies grow. If you look in someone's tummy after eating the meal they choose, all our food looks very similar after we digest it for our use. Well, one choice might be healthier, our meals big or small, but it would be hard to tell the difference unless there's nothing there at all. The things that make us different are sometimes easier to see than the things we have in common, though we're as unique as we can be. We all have people that we love and would protect with all our might. We all have things that make us laugh and fears that keep us up at night. We all want to feel safe and loved. We all need to be fed. We all want clothes to keep us warm and a place to rest our heads.
So you see, although it's obvious how great our differences may be, from very near or very far, they're pretty hard to see. You may see someone and know them just by color, size, or name. But we all have much in common, completely different, just the same. 